Moving to Mayo Clinic news and what looks good for social media. Ron Petrovich was used to a jam-packed work schedule for Mayo Clinic's Public Affairs Department. What else looks good here for social media? But he'd begun to notice that his long days in the office were leaving him unusually tired. And the regular workouts that used to recharge his batteries now left him short of breath, sometimes even dizzy. The diagnosis of a genetic condition came as a shock. I had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is a thickening of the heart muscle, and what it does, it obstructs the blood flow from the heart to the rest of the body. When medications failed to help, surgeons shaved off the thickened muscle in an open heart operation called a septomyectomy. With his heart pumping more efficiently, Ron felt his energy rebound within a matter of days, but his road to recovery was just beginning. Three weeks after surgery, I began the formalized program of the cardiac rehab. Every uh, medical or health measure you can imagine gets better with cardiac rehabilitation. So people function better, their physical strength, their endurance, their ability to do things improves, balance can improve. Also very important is to keep patients out of the hospital, so patients who participate in cardiac rehabilitation are less likely to be rehospitalized. Ray Squires is program director for cardiovascular health and rehabilitation at Mayo Clinic. He says, contrary to what many people think, it involves much more than just supervised exercise. It's attention to modifying risk factors such as high cholesterol, high blood sugar, uncontrolled blood pressure, obesity, depression, obstructive sleep apnea, etc. Ron's three months of outpatient therapy, three days a week, is typical. It starts slowly and increases in intensity, always under a watchful eye. There's a very close monitoring. They, they have leads on and they watch to see what your heart rate is. They monitor your blood pressure. We're looking at his heart rhythm, so we're making sure that all of his beats look the same. Ann Walter is Ron's cardiac rehab case manager. She says he made her job much easier in one regard. He had um, been an exerciser his whole adult life, and so we didn't have to talk him into the benefits of exercise. Some of our patients have never exercised at all. So nationally, only around 20 to 25 percent of eligible patients receive cardiac rehabilitation services. Dr. Randall Thomas says that's very unfortunate because Mayo Clinic's research shows those who do experience greatly improved survival rates. We've looked at, uh, at people after angioplasty and stent placement, after heart surgery, after heart attack, and in all those studies consistently we find there'll be a 45% difference in death rates in those two groups over the subsequent 10 years. I mean, the bottom line is they, they live longer. There's a mortality benefit to, to participating in cardiac rehabilitation. Dr. Squire says part of the benefit is that the program educates patients, instilling a greater overall commitment to staying healthy. Patients who participate in cardiac rehabilitation are much more likely to comply with their medications long term. They're much more likely to comply with dietary measures, exercise, all those kinds of things. I feel fantastic. I can tell that I can, I can start to run faster and I can just tell my heart, my lungs are working much, much better. But that took several months to, uh, to reach this point. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Dota.